So the overall energy I'm kind of getting is someone could be recalling some sort of violence that happened within a home. Something could have gone on for more than a decade or a decade or more regarding a mother, or this could have been the abuse of a mother, and something really needed to stop. Somebody could have passed away. So this could have been an abusive mother who passed away, um, who left a will. Something is forming and growing, some devotee, a devote, devoted. Somebody um, maybe remembering this abuse and maybe has grown some sort of alliance or become devoted to this abused person um, to make things easier. Something may be becoming easier for this person because of some sort of bond <clears throat> or friendship or something that has grown. There's like a devoted, I'm getting like a devoted, devotee energy. Somebody really needed to stop this and they just stood by. So somebody could have stood by. This could have even been a family that stood by and watched somebody getting abused by their mother. Maybe they were the only person, if there were multiple children in the household, maybe this person was the only one that seemed to be getting abused and nobody believed this person. I have fire sign Aries, Leo, and Sag that came out. <clears throat> Someone may be wanting to grow some sort of friendship or partnership. They could see how devoted you are. Pets, getting a new pet, we're giving a current pet more love. Maybe a mother treated you like a pet, like an abused you like a pet. Um, something could be significant about a pet. Mine's growling in the background. Herschel! He's playing with his bone. Um, <laughs> maybe there's a fire sign that's getting a new pet to help cope with the loss, the grief of losing a mother, because even though this person was abusive, um, and it could also be a fire sign that maybe was gifted or left a pet in a will, like maybe your parent's pet, um, <clears throat> but there's something significant about a pet and grieving and helping overcome some sort of grief someone was watching and spying someone's got their eye on you during the research and the reverse so someone was spying on somebody maybe how they healed through a grief process open your heart it will help you attract more love someone was watching someone saw what someone went through and they stood by and did nothing however you've been bewitched someone may have fallen in love with you as they stopped and watched you heal from a, the grief and abuse of a parent you could be a mother or it could have been from your mother it could have been from a father too and you could just be a mother figure maybe you have children now uh, but someone feels like they've been bewitched by you caution find out more information don't overwork yourself Maybe someone is in love with you, watching you work so hard to overcome things, to heal, to get through some sort of trauma, abuse, a horrible situation with your mother, and this person could have passed away on top of it, and so you've had to go through the grieving process and the healing process of dealing with it, because even though there may be some hard feelings or, you know, the abuse occurred, this person was still your mother, but there's a secret, there's something that's not been revealed yet, someone doesn't want revealed, and they can't rest. Someone knows something possibly about this and they haven't spoken up about it. Maybe they just don't want to acknowledge it, but somebody knows something that hasn't been revealed yet and it's making them restless and they can't rest or relax and it's stressing them out <clears throat> because they know you weren't loved and the person was abusive. They were a coward, they were not strong. So maybe there was a cycle of abuse that happened like within a family. Somebody knows that you had to have strength and courage because you were not loved. Maybe you've been in survival mode and that's why you can't rest. Like you, you go nonstop. You're like the Energizer Bunny. But you hold secrets. Like you don't advertise your trauma. You don't wear your trauma on your sleeve. Like you wear it well, which is messed up. Capricorn energy could be significant. Someone could want to make a deal or come into partnership with you. So there could have something to do with a deal, a contract. Um, like I said, there could be something to do with a will. <clears throat> um, power of attorney, conservatorship, something like that. Somebody could want to make a deal with you or partner up with you because they've seen you go through all this, but they know something about it as well. Like They know some sort of secret that they haven't spoken out about.
<clears throat> yeah, there was a financial imbalance, and someone is only thinking about money. Someone is only focused on money, working to better themselves. There could have been a financial imbalance caused by the abuse of this parental figure. This could be you thinking about money because of a financial imbalance as well. There could have been a loss of a partnership or a union that also was a contributor to a financial imbalance, a contributing factor. There could have been a divorce or separation within a union or a partnership. Your mother could have interfered with this relationship, the situation. But we, but we have a mother. You are a mother. You're, or you're an empress, mother, wife, lover, you know, and you're strong and courageous. So you're strong. You're like the complete opposite of whoever this mother figure was to you. It could be a real mother, biological mother, foster mother. Could have been a mother-in-law, stepmother, whatever the case. There was a mother figure that did you something really dirty. And somebody wants to send you a message or speak some sort of truth. You may be having to defend yourself with some sort of truth by speaking your truth and moving on to calmer waters. Somebody could also feel like if they speak this truth, it'll help them move on to calmer waters because they have this restless anxiety about them because they know a secret or they know something and they just have refused to acknowledge it. Somebody rushed in with some sort of communication here with the Knight of Wands. Someone did something hastily regarding some sort of information to take a treasure or steal a treasure and cause a betrayal and there's going to be some sort of communication you're going to receive that could help you move on to calmer waters but there's a betrayal here and a king of pentacles so there's a king of pentacles someone who could be a wealthy masculine energy um, could be a businessman someone who may want to offer you a proposition of some sort in business or finances uh, maybe this is the person who has fallen in love with you um, or feels like they have some sort of love spell on them. But there was a betrayal by someone who rushed in hastily to take something from you. And this could have been somebody that you were in a partnership with. This could have been a family member, um, a sibling. It could have been um, somebody you were actually in a relationship with and a mother figure interfered with that. And they rushed in quickly to try to take something from you, whether this was like you know, someone that you were married to or something, maybe you still share the same last name, but somebody betrayed you to, to, to get some sort of treasure. If you were left in a will, this could be like an ex-spouse or somebody or an ex who is trying to take you to court or do something shady to try to get some sort of money if you were left any money, like by an inheritance or like within a will. <laughs> and maybe the joke's on them because maybe you weren't left anything except the damn dog. <laughs> Your mother wouldn't trust you with money, but she left her dog. I mean, oh my God. There were secrets, a secret partnership. So there was a betrayal of people working together behind the scenes to screw you over and do you something dirty. <clears throat> this could have been to rip an inheritance off from you, steal an inheritance from you. Um, wow. It was to steal a treasure, something that you held valuable, or viewed as valuable. Maybe somebody thought you were materialistic. There were illusions created, and that's why something is not moving forward, because something was based on illusions and lies. Someone was missing a very key piece of important information, and that is this karmic love situation, this risky commitment that didn't work out. <clears throat> so someone could have entered into a marriage or partnership with someone because they thought they were going to get some sort of money or an inheritance. They could have been working with your shady-ass mother, and then, like, the mother passed away or something, and this masculine or whoever this ex is, could have thought they were going to get some sort of money from it. <clears throat> Sorry about the clearing of the throat, guys. I cannot help it. This fluctuating weather has got me all kinds of jacked up. Yeah. <clears throat> there was a karmic, risky situation here. The Knight of Cups in reverse and a High Priestess in the reverse. So there was somebody who wanted to date you or partner up with you because they thought you were going to get some sort of money or finances. And they created illusions about why they wanted to partner up with you. You didn't have to be actually married to this person. But someone only hooked up with another person because they thought they were going to get something out of it. And they created all these illusions about um, if this relationship ended, why it ended. Like, they tried to put it on you like it was your fault. And maybe you did call it off because maybe you could feel that this person was a gold digger. That may be who this King of Pentacles is. 
just because they're in the upright, um, you know, doesn't necessarily mean that they're actually in the upright. You could be receiving some sort of communication from, you know, somebody who's kind of shady. Um, or the King of Pentacles could be a legit businessman, someone who has knowledge, wisdom, money. Uh, but we have the King of Cups, someone who is emotionally unbalanced in the reverse, who was a karmic situation, a lesson learned for you. And you could have suffered a significant financial loss because of this person, because this person could have been a gold digger, even if they're not the King of Pentacles in the reverse, this person is a gold digger. Something is growing and manifesting for you. After a sorrowful period, you're going to have some time of rest, a well-earned rest. You've needed it. You've earned it. You've been working really hard to grow your pentacles, to grow something, to manifest. And you're going to get to have a time of rest that you've been waiting for. Like I said, something could have been going on for a decade or over a decade, a decade or more. Could have been going on your whole life. Maybe you spent a decade with this person. Come to find out they only cared about money or taking something from you. Maybe your mother was in bad health or something when you got with this person. And they were expecting you to get some sort of money. They could have worked together to put you in bad health. But someone didn't get a clean slate. The fool in the reverse. Somebody was expecting you to get a clean slate off of this partnership i just heard payday somebody was expecting to get a payday because of a union with you like they expected to get some sort of like i don't know like a severance pay severance package it's like okay well when this ends i'm going to get all this money or i'm going to hook up with them get them knocked up and i'm going to get all this money from this person they were expecting a big payday off of someone and they're not moving on to calmer waters. This was an unsuccessful relationship. So this relationship ended, and I'm guessing not on good terms. They didn't want to give you your cup of love, your ace of cups. They didn't give you the love that you deserved. They were only with you because they expected to get a new start or a new beginning off of you. It's like maybe they thought they hit the jackpot. This person was evil, though. The star in the reverse. <clears throat> this person had dark intentions and dark tendencies. They hit them well. And you have money coming to you because you're in high honor and someone wants to rush in with some sort of truth and help bring financial balance back to a situation because of your hard work. Because someone was not compassionate to you. I told you someone was a gold digger. The King of Pentacles is in the reverse here. I told you they were a gold digger. They were not compassionate to you. They didn't want to offer you your flowers. They just wanted your money. Whether you had it or not, they thought you did. Or they were expecting you to get some and they wanted a chunk of it. There was a queen of wands here in the reverse. So someone was a hoe. So this person could have cheated on you and offered their flowers to a hoe. Maybe it was a hoe mother. <clears throat> Someone's in despair because you have this new start, this new beginning. This ace of pentacles could be this inheritance or a large lump sum of money. And you're going to be moving or traveling. Hopefully away from these crazy ass people. be receiving some sort of communication or information knight of wands could be from the court sometimes the knights are courts maybe you're going to have to move or someone's going to have to move yeah cycle was closed out the cycle ended there's barriers here, so maybe the cycle of barriers are over. You could be receiving some sort of information or communication that's going to be confirmation that a barrier has been removed from your path. <clears throat> it could also be an indication of you receiving some sort of news about a new barrier in your path after you close out a cycle with somebody. So someone could be, um, you know, like they're pissed off about your new start, your new beginning, and so they could have filed some sort of court shit against you to make more shit problems for you. There's a cycle here that was closed out, or needs to be closed out regarding some sort of imbalance here and communication. Yeah, someone, someone has you fighting off a lot of conflict. You're fighting off a lot of shit, and somebody just wants to keep throwing the shit on, overloading you. And someone lied. 
and you're fighting a lot of battles because of this risky commitment and this person being pissed off. So they're pissed off at you because they're not getting money. They're not getting what they wanted. So they could have lied to the courts or filed something within the courts to create more barriers for you, more obstacles. So, you know, you can have a lot of shit going on. All because someone's pissed off that they're not getting what they want. And they were using you anyway because they were gold digging masculine. could be healing from this heartbreak or you had to heal from this heartbreak and the wheel of fortune is in your favor because something is being laid to rest you have a group of people community of family that's devoted to you that's supporting you you know you've grown like a following like a fellowship like a community even if it's just like a, a close circle of friends or relatives something like that you have a group of people here that are going to help you out in some sort of way and this has someone in despair there's a king of pentacles here who's in despair because they didn't get this money. It could be a separate King of Pentacles. Like, there could be two different King of Pentacles. One's a gold digger and one's, um, you know, a wealthy businessman. But someone here is in despair. Because something didn't move for them. They're, they couldn't move out of poverty. They couldn't keep a Queen of Cups in poverty. So they're stuck when it comes to keeping someone in poverty. They caused an injury to you. There's a lot of talk going on about this King of Pentacles and the injuries they've caused you. It could also be this King of Pentacles in despair after finding out all the injuries that people have done to you. Like, multiple. Like, in the very beginning, there was a word that came out. Where was it? Which word was it? All kinds. In all kinds. You've been abused in all kinds of ways. By your exes, by your family, by your mother, whoever this is. It's like you've been abused in every way possible. And there's a lot of talk about the injuries you have sustained. And, you know, you're still focused on your financial stability. There are people talking about how financially stable you are. And someone admires this about you and they want to clean up a betrayal here. So this person could be in a position of authority while you had a gold digger that was trying to wipe you out. You have someone that sits in a position of authority that is like in despair after finding out everything you've gone through and they actually admire you. And now they want to help clean something up for you or help partner up with you in some sort of way. Yeah, there's a witchy bitch here. It could be man or woman, it could be the masculine here, but there's a witch bitch here that was creating illusions. And they were watching behind the scenes to see if their illusions were working, if the lies they told, you know, if their abuse, mental, physical, emotional. Someone's still saying, I'm gonna get you my pretty and your little doggy too. So someone is still on the bullshit. <clears throat> The problem is, is there's going to be an ending to this, an ending to the illusions, and they don't have a positive outcome. That's the challenge for them, for this bitchy energy. And it could have been an ending to, you know, the mother figure. Someone wants to be compassionate to you sideways now in your future energy. Someone wants to offer you some flowers. You could be a loving and caring parent. Like I said, you're not the, anything like the person that abused you. You are like the complete opposite. You're going to get your wish fulfillment, your heart's desire. Someone could see you as their wish fulfillment, as King of Pentacles in the upright, not the gold digging piece of shit that's trying to rob you blind. And there's a positive outcome from this. Like, you're going to have a positive outcome regarding your heart's wishes and your desires. You know, you sprinkle that extra bit of love in everything you do. This King of Pentacles could have partnered up with your jealous ass mother to cause you all these problems. And this they could be in bad health. Someone, high priest, high priestess energy in the reverse, they're nervous. They're scared. They were scared. They're going to be scared. They need to be scared because of the lies they told, the illusions they created. Because once again, someone wants to be compassionate towards you. Could be multiple people that want to be compassionate towards you. 
Oh, and someone's experiencing bad luck because of a partnership. This was not a, a successful love relationship or a partnership. And something shocking could have been found out about this. Maybe it was shocking for people to find out about them working together against you. Maybe they had a love affair. So this could have been a mother who slept with your ex while you were together or after you separated or something. Shit, it could be a sister. It could be anybody. But there's a, you know, a feminine energy here. That did a lot of damage to you. But someone's sad. So someone's sad about people being compassionate and caring towards you, helping you. <clears throat> yeah, you have this Ace of Pentacles here. This Ace of Diamonds. These came out sideways. Divine Femme, you have this Ace of Pentacles. New start, new beginning. You could have a home, move, job change, your wishes, your fulfillment. There's going to be a reason to celebrate. People want, you know want to be compassionate towards you they're going to be loyal to you you could have multiple people look we have the wish fulfillment card again and the compassionate card we keep having the flowers come out um you could be being celebrated recognized <clears throat> for your bravery your strength your courage you're going to have a positive outcome in the near future Someone could have been competing with you, could have been an older, younger, someone didn't want to ascend, someone was, you know, like a dark, dark person, a dark energy in your life, this person didn't want to grow up, they didn't want to mature, they didn't want you to reach your goals, your destination, you have offers coming into you, someone was a high priest or priestess in the reverse, so somebody was a practitioner, could have been a religious figure, um, unsuccessful relationship, so your ex could have been like a religious figure or had, you know, different religious beliefs than you. Yeah, this was an unlucky partnership, and they were not compassionate towards you. They didn't offer you your flowers, and they, you know, brought some bad luck upon themselves by using you and trying to abuse you and then leaving you out in the cold. But there is something shocking about a masculine and a, a, a younger feminine. I mean, it doesn't have to be younger, but there's a feminine energy here, a divine femme. And there's something shocking about this masculine and this feminine energy. And someone is very surprised about what they found out. Maybe about a partnership, or maybe it's because someone found out that this king of pentacles wants to come towards this divine femme. And this could be very shocking or surprising to someone. A whole group of people. Yeah, someone was disloyal within that partnership with that Ace of Cups in the reverse, so you could have left your ex out in the cold because they were disloyal, and they could have been disloyal with your family member, you know what I'm saying? They betrayed you. There was a lot of betrayal that was going on in this situation. You were abused in multiple, multiple different ways. They said they were single to get you in the reverse, so someone lied about being single or dealing with somebody else. Somebody was not single, they were not innocent, they didn't pick up their phone because they were with somebody else. <clears throat> Someone is still being arrogant, and they still have these texting apps, late night phone calls, or a second phone. Someone's communicating. Someone is very arrogant, and they're still communicating with somebody. But they're doing it secretly. It could even be your family. So say your family found out about this and they're keeping it from you. Someone doesn't want you to know. This could be a lawyer who found out about this. Someone is finding out how arrogant this piece of shit is. That they're dealing with other people, communicating with other people about you or to you to do something to you, to have something done to you because they still expect to get something and they know you have money coming. Someone's also lusting after someone booty call. So someone's working on a cheating situation or they are they're out for revenge so someone's lusting after i don't know maybe this is another family member like a sibling aunt uncle i don't know someone else in your family um it's like they want to they need they went broken they need money they're secretly watching your instincts are on point you're going to get unexpected help because someone is throwing rocks and hiding hands 
someone is out for revenge they're lusting it's like they did you something dirty they hooked up with a mother figure and screwed you over now they could be targeting someone else in your family or somebody close to you because they're broke they need money it could be someone that's secretly watching you or they're having someone secretly watching you your instincts are on point so you know someone's being two-faced someone really didn't want to work with you or someone was working with someone and their lovers You're, you could find something out in the next two to four weeks just how spiteful somebody was they had no shame they weren't embarrassed or ashamed when they were doing it but they should be they're going to be ashamed and embarrassed when this information comes out that somebody was sleeping with someone's co-worker <clears throat> whether it was theirs or yours somebody you thought was a friend it's like the betrayal just keeps going stalker alert someone's stalking you maybe it's their lover that's stalking you could be them someone feels like they're being ignored or forgotten because you're not paying them any attention well gee i wonder why secret lovers so someone feels ignored or forgotten by their secret lover someone's going to be passing soon whether this is one of the secret lovers, so this could be a mother figure that's going to pass away. It could be um, this person. So if you had a recent death in the family, like your mother died or something, your ex could be next on the chopping block because they were cut off. You don't want to talk to them or call them. They piss you off. They drove. They were driving by your home. They changed up on you. <clears throat> So it's like they're stalking you, watching you, but they have a secret lover and someone is going to be passing away. They were trying to cover up some sort of illegal activities regarding some sort of money. You really don't know someone. And there are children involved. You could be the children. You could be the child. You could have children with your ex who's involved in this. Your mother could have worked with your ex to get your kids taken away, get you put out on the street, homeless, whatever. These people are nuts. Pay attention to your dreams. You could be receiving messages or downloads. Someone's at a distance crying. Beggars can't be choosers. They wanted you to be begging for something that's already yours, caught in the crossfire. There was an imbalance here. Libra could be significant in July. So someone was causing an imbalance in July. Could be a Libra or just the imbalance itself. <clears throat> There's something significant about Tuesday in July. There's going to be an equal give and take. Something is going to be balanced back out. Someone put themselves in hot water because they were a bottomless pit. That gold digger energy. You're going to be having fun in the sun because you have an ace up your sleeve. Ace up in the hole. Whether people know it or not. Something was all for show. And you've been patiently waiting for something to happen because you're the stuff dreams are made out of. So you could be tapped in. You get your spiritual downloads, or you were astro traveling, and you know how this is going to play out. And you know someone dug a hole for themselves they can't get out of. Multiple people dug themselves into a hole they can't get out of. <clears throat> Gemini could be significant. I came out sideways. So someone has a Gemini they're connected to. They're chomping at the bit. This could be your baby daddy. Your mom, someone in your family, sibling that betrayed you, whoever this is. They want you to forgive and forget what they did. Someone's going to lose their cool. Someone's going to lose their temper because there's a partnership that's not working anymore. Something's going to happen for you in the nick of time in the summer. There's something significant about a third party and a king or queen of wands energy. So you could be a natural born leader or somebody who was sleeping with a supervisor, boss, co-worker, something like that. <clears throat> somebody was working with someone could have been your boss could have been their boss somebody could have been taking orders from someone they were not your team player they were your op they were working against you the whole time someone's coming out of the woods someone's intrigued and wants to know more about the situation what's going on with you <clears throat> like father like son father like son so there's a father figure <clears throat> that is significant here.
think I'm getting anything else with one more shuffle. Yep, that's it. You know how to make the best of a bad situation, though, regarding a father or a son figure. Alright, person, place, or thing. The letter J could be significant. I. D. P. Yeah, some of them deep shit, that much I do know. B. S. Someone's about to get educated. PBS, the more you know. <clears throat> U. Y. Someone could have went out drinking one night, plotting, planning, at a pub or a bar. H. U three more. K. F. And A. So I have J I D P B S U Y H K F A. I hope this helps. Have a good day.